This summer, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will begin operations, and one of its many tasks will be to search for primeval black holes in the early universe. A supermassive black hole is believed to be at the center of almost every large galaxy. There are billions of black holes in the universe, and they devour anything that comes too close to them. The Event Horizon Telescope captured a stunning image of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. James Webb Space Telescope, the largest, most expensive, and most complex space telescope ever built, will soon answer the question of how galaxies like ours came to host such a massive black hole in their center. Normally, a black hole is formed when a star burns its fuel all up and collapses into itself. Due to their density, these objects produce an extremely strong gravitational force, which pulls dust and gas into the black hole, causing it to grow. To explain why some black holes grow remarkably large even at a young age, researchers theorize that the holes accrete material at extraordinary rates. These early black holes might also emerge as a result of star collisions, merging black holes, or the collapse of primeval gas clouds that are not yet enriched in chemical elements heavier than helium. The near-spec instrument on board the James Webb Space Telescope is intended to enable the identification of primeval black hole seeds, as well as signs of active phases, in which black holes develop fast by devouring a large amount of surrounding matter, which becomes hot and light. According to the NASA blog post, NearSpec will assist in observing the light emitted by these voracious systems and measuring the velocity of the gas circling in the neighborhood of these black hole progenitors. Robert Mayolino, a member of the James Webb Space Telescope's Near Infrared Spectrograph NearSpec Instrument Science Team stated, Webb is about to open a completely new discovery space in this area. He also added, it is possible that the first black hole seeds originally formed in the baby universe within just a few million years after the Big Bang. Webb is the perfect time machine to learn about these primeval objects. Its exceptional sensitivity makes Webb capable of detecting extremely distant galaxies, and because of the time required for the light emitted by the galaxies to travel to us, we will see them as they were in the remote past. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.